Hi guys, welcome back to my studio and welcome back for a, another Fast Forward Friday night. Um, for those of you that don't know, Fast Forward Friday night is just a fast forward recap of what I've done on other people's live channels. Uh, this was done on Tish Winter's channel called The Artist's Haven. And this is a Wednesday night show called Artapalooza. And I am making alcohol ink washers, just regular washers that you pick up from Ace Hardware, and putting some alcohol inks on them, and then turning them into necklaces. And so here you see I'm using some alcohol inks that I got from Picasso on Amazon. And then I'm also going to use some um, pinata alcohol inks in brass. Um, those two were the Picasso Sapphire and Turquoise. The lighter one is the Turquoise and the darker one is the Sapphire. <laughs> so I'm just basically moving it around and just getting the colors to kind of blend but still stay a little bit separate. And then here I'm putting some, I think it's 91% isopropyl alcohol into a bottle that I use for my pinata brass and then I'm adding some more pinata brass to that. Um, what that does is it diffuses it a little bit so it kind of floats throughout and makes everything sparkly and shimmery, gives it kind of a pearl effect. And then I will add um, pinata straight from the bottle here in a few minutes, just so that it kind of floats on top in certain places and stuff. But you can see how it kind of, there's a little bit floating on top, but not much. A lot of those, um, goldish type micas are dispersing and floating throughout the alcohol inks now. And here we go with the brass straight out of the bottle. And then that will float on top and I just like it because it, it's such a pretty kind of antique look to it. I, it's so pretty. I really love it. So yeah, so now I'm just moving it around, getting it to where I want it to before it completely sets up and dries. Still not happy, gonna move it around some more. <laughs> and yeah, the reason I'm doing a voiceover is because there's some things coming up that kinda need some explaining, maybe some um, hardware that I'm going to be using that you might not be familiar with what to look for if you go to your local bead shop or Michael's. Oh, and there it is. It's all dry. So pretty. And what I'll do with that now is I will set that aside and later spray it with um, some Camara Krylon spray varnish. And here is one that's already been varnished and it's done with different purples and the pin pinata brass and yeah just a charm from the local bead shop I go to bead holiday here I really like them and then I am opening and then crimping back closed different size jump rings that's what those hoops are called those little gold jewelry hoops are called jump rings and yeah so I selected the right sizes. Um, the top jump ring is about the same diameter as the hole in the washer. And then you've got to put down a really tiny small jump ring in between that hoop and the charm so that it um, lays flat. You want to have them in the correct orientation. So here I've measured out my leather and I use 19 inches and that makes an 18 inch necklace 
and I've divided it in half and where it bends in loops I've put it through the hole of the washer and then I've put it through the larger jump ring that has the charm on it and I'm just looping it through so that the two ends come out evenly at the top and just kind of doing a knot not too special of a knot but kind of cool um, there are different videos that you can watch on YouTube that have um, different knotting tutorials this one's pretty basic and then after I get that kind of looped and knotted then I've got a little barrel bead in gold and black that I'm going to slide those two um, strands through. Now after that, then I make another knot and it's a, just a basic knot but I loop the ends each through a second time and that creates um, a double loop at the top of the knot that I think looks pretty cool and it helps um, the, the ends, the, the extra strands kind of come out to the side a bit and I just think it helps the uh, pendant lay nicer. Okay now these, these are crimp beads, crimp, crimp beads and what you're going to do is I'm going to take some G-S Hypo Cement and it is specially made for pinpoint precision, jewelry beading and hobbies, um, crystals, stuff like that. And you can buy that at pretty much any one of your local bead shops. Um, I think I got mine at Michael's. Um, Hobby Lobby might carry it also. So wherever they have jewelry supplies, you should be able to pretty much find that. Again, that's G-S Hypo Cement. And then I'm just setting, rubbing it around inside the crimp beads and then laying my leather strand in there. And what the crimp beads do is they have a little tooth right down towards um, the opposite end of the little hoop um, hole. And then you just crimp one side over and then turn it around and fold the other side over the top of the first um, flat edge that you crimp down. And that combined with the um, jewelry cement really helps hold that crimp bead in place on the end of your leather so that way um, you get a really good tight connection and your necklace won't fall apart. So now here we go and we're gonna attach our other little jump rings and our jewelry clasp. Now you can get them in a standard clasp or you can get lobster claw clasps. I believe I'm using a lobster claw clasp on this one. And so yeah, you just slightly bend your jump ring open a bit and then hoop it through that little hole on the end of your crimp bead and then close it back up. And it is as simple as that. And there we are, we're all finished. And what I noticed was, was as I was hanging them on the tree to display all the finished works, see there they are, how pretty are those? The tree of life, the hamza, the feather, um, but yeah, as I was hanging them on the tree to display here for this, I thought, wow, these could make really cool Christmas tree ornaments too. They're large enough. They're about um, two, yeah, two, two inches in diameter. So I think they'd work great. Okay, guys, that's it for me. Loves and hugs, y'all. Bye.